You are joining Making a Difference with Melissa Clark, a show that shares the compelling stories and voices of well-known and everyday people who change the world in big and small ways. Enjoy our guests. Call in or just listen to be inspired. For this show was made with you in mind. Please join us every Saturday at 2 p.m. Eastern Standard Time with our special guests. And you can listen to our recast at www.melissaclarkshow.com. Hi, thank you for joining us on Making a Difference. I'm Melissa Billy Clark. We like to spotlight companies who have supported our show and we thank wine owner and producer David Noto of Alta Neve for joining us today. We have a special treat because David is going to educate us on pairing foods with certain wines. I always love that, David. I've been in the restaurant industry for 20 years as you and I, we've been talking about all this. So thank you so much for this amazing amazing wine. It is absolutely delicious. And we're going to get into that in a little bit. Um, you know, Alta Neve was launched in 2012 in the United States. Tell us the history of this incredible wine, David, and, and your company. Certainly. Well, let's start with Prosecco in general. Prosecco yes. history dates back to 200 BC. That is the first start of when uh, we can tell people started making, drinking Prosecco. Mm -hmm. uh, we know the vines go back a lot longer than that. And at the turn of the first millennium, uh, Empress Livia Augusta, the wife of Caesar Augusta, made it famous. It was her favorite wine. And uh, the story goes by Pliny the Elder that the medicinal properties of Prosecco helped her to live to the ripe old age of 85 years old over 2,000 years ago. Pretty there's amazing. hope at ladies and gentlemen <laughs> for all you wine winos there's hope <laughs> so people who are lovers of champagne as the wine of uh prince and princesses well prosecco is the wine of emperors and empresses and empresses and it's been uh it's been drank and enjoyed by venetian royalty and trentino royalty for the last two millennia pretty mm -hmm. fantastic yeah. alta neve uh, our vineyards are hundreds of years old. In one, in one of our plots, it's over a thousand years old, uh, the plot. And our vines are up to 95 years old, mm -hmm. the maximum age. And we are located in the steep foothills of the Italian Dolomites in northeastern Italy, uh, in a small town called Valdo Biadene. Mm -hmm. Altaneve means high snow, because you can see the snow-capped Dolomite mountains above our vineyards for about eight or nine months a year when you approach our vineyards by car. Right. You showed me photos of that. They're absolutely beautiful. You can go on um, your website. Is it uh, altaneve.com? It certainly is, altaneve.com. And actually, this is the wine that made us famous. This is our Prosecco DOCG, uh, which is currently rated as the number one Prosecco in the world so on good. the Vivino app and uh, website, which is the largest website in the world for wine at this moment. Um, this is our DOCG uh, wine. This is the wine that I started, uh, that started my passion for making wine. Mm -hmm. my what was your passion, David? Well, my family made wine for over 10 generations, ending with my grandfather. Mm -hmm. uh, my father raised me in the wine world, but uh, never making wine. Until after my career, my father became an engineer. So I did, uh, followed in Papa's footsteps, then uh, management consulting and finance, and about uh, 10, 11 years ago, I decided, you know what? I want to follow my passion. And my favorite wine in the world is Prosecco and maybe Destiny. I started wine making once again and making my favorite wine in the world, which is Prosecco. Mm -hmm. uh, as a child, it was, it, it, it's easier to drink than champagne. It's what we call amabile. So it's uh, more approachable, a little uh, softer, creamier, uh, softer, I would say a touch sweeter than a champagne and easier to drink. Yes, it, it really is delicious. All your wine, your rosé and your Prosecco is uh, really good. Now, I know that you have two different kinds of Prosecco. Is that correct? I, correct. I actually just started a third. Uh, oh. This is my 
This is my crew. This comes from a small plot that's about an acre and a half large. Mm -hmm. It's called Il Bacho. This is my Alta Neve Z. Um, it comes from 65 to 90 year old grapevines in the, the heart of Valdobbiadene in a small hamlet called Il Bacho. Mm -hmm. In the hamlet of San Pietro di Barbosa, the hill is called Il Bacho, the kiss. And uh, that is where this uh, Alta Neve Z comes from. It spends over a year in winemaking. And then uh, a little, um, this is also uh, Prosecco Vado Biadre di OCG. Mm -hmm. And this is the wine I was saying that made us famous. I make 2000 cases of this a year, only for the world. Uh, the trick is keeping it in stock for the holidays when it tends to sell out. <laughs> That's true. And you go back to and from Italy, is that right? Uh, I, I just returned about a month ago. Uh -huh. Yes, and I'll be going back again in a month. I, I try to spend as much time as I can in our main market in the United States, mm. uh, promoting, marketing the wine and the brand, because as it turns out, making wine is the easier part of owning a wine company. Selling the wine is the difficult part. That is correct. That is correct. Uh, but we love this wine so much. So, you know, you recently visited um, Il Gatto Pardo in New York City and had a wonderful dish with owner John Franco Sorrentino. Take a look. David, where are you and who are you with and what are we eating today? Hello, Melissa. I'm here with Gianfranco Sorrentino and we're having a wonderful plate by executive chef Vito Nazzo. Grazie. Oh my God. Can you show us the plate? It looks so delicious. Tell us what this is, uh, sir. We're at your beautiful restaurant. What do we have here? Oh, this is uh, the Fregula Sarda. It's a very uh, pasta made with the semolina from Sardinia. And this is with asparagus tips and the delicious uh, scallops. Wow. And how does David's wine complement this dish? Because I know it's a Prosecco. So how does it complement the dish? Well, uh, the freshness and the, the sparkles of the Prosecco is uh, delicious with the, the salty of the scallops and the, the asparagus tips. Is a delicious dish and a delicious pairing. Beautiful. We're having the wine right now. All I'm missing is that dish. We thank you so much for your time. Tell us where you're located, please. We are on 54th Street, 13 West 54th Street, just across the street from the Museum of Modern Art. Ah, oh, beautiful, MoMA. We'll hang out over there, have a dish, have the beautiful Prosecco, you guys. Ching, ching. And then we'll head on to Salute. <laughs> Salute. Salute. Grazie. Grazie. Ciao. Ciao. A presto. <laughs> Thank you, guys. David, how was that dish? It looked absolutely beautiful. And that restaurant is one of the most famous restaurants in New York City. Is that correct? It is a wonderful and famous restaurant. Uh, Gianfranco and his chef, Vito Nazzo, make amazing, super high-end Southern Italian cuisine. In general, New York is known for big plates and red sauces. And instead, uh, Gianfranco and Vito, uh, they focus on the, the wonderful natural ingredients and plates of Southern Italy. Um, awesome. Now, yeah. I wanna to talk to you about pairing foods and wine. Um, you know, I know working in the restaurant industry, you do fish with whites, meats with red. Is there any way where you can have a fish with red? Maybe like a Pinot Noir, something light? You can have a, generally the, the heavier fishes, uh, a salmon, Mm -hmm. um, because it's meatier, it's uh, in a way fishier tasting, it has a strong taste, and so you can have a light red wine with that. Nice. I, I probably wouldn't do a super Tuscan, but a, a lighter Pinot Noir, or a, maybe several, several of the wonderful light reds in the area. Yeah. Um, wonderful. What about any whites with meats? Well, like your Prosecco. I, meat. I mean, even Prosecco goes wonderfully with light pork dishes and white meats. Oh, wow. But, uh, I, I tend to stay away from whites and, uh, and red meats. There yes. are some that I've had, the orange wines, which are very tasty. I'm not, not sure how much you know of the orange wines. Some of them go okay with uh, red meats, but white wines have much more of a delicate uh, taste to them. Yeah. They don't have the heavy tannins and structure and body. Uh, so they don't go as well with the, with the red meats. Are you talking orange what, rosé? No, no, I'm so sorry. Uh, no, they make orange wines now, which are literally the color orange, not, not a variation of pink. Eat gats. I never orange. heard of... I never... And uh, they have 
they, they sit on the leaves a longer and they have a, a stronger taste. And those, in, in fact, some of them do go very well. And some of the very hardier rosés go very well with, uh, with lighter red meats. But for the whiter meats like yes. uh, pork dishes, mm -hmm. they go well with uh, white wines, a whole array of white wines. Interesting. Thank you so much for that education. Now, let's get drinking. I want people oh, I to will. see the reaction. I've had this in my... Sparkling rosé. I make only a thousand cases of this wine a year. Yeah. This is a blend of a Pinot Noir, predominantly with a touch of the Galera that we make our Prosecco with to round out the flavor profile and soften the sharp acidity mm -hmm. of the Pinot Noir. I'm excited. So there's a to touch of Pinot. Like. Touch it's got of a light, pinot. lovely bubble. And um, so good. structure, body, fruit of the Pinot Noir. It's very uh, strawberry, mountain, um, forest fruit flavors. But not too, it's very not dry. too, yeah, it's not too potent, which is so good. Oh, -ho! oh sorry guys, my dogs. <laughs> you guys Salute. all right? <laughs> Cheers. Cheers. Are you going to have a glass with me? Of course I can. Yeah, I want I everybody to know. In, room. in the meantime, we can do this. Did I open this right? Of course you did. I've been doing this for 20 years. So this is really good. I knew um, I would savor this. But instead, let's see if I can make a good pork. Uh, oh, wonderful. <laughs> so good. It has such a nice light, you know, rosé all day, right? They say that on Sundays, rosé all day. Yes, the trick is rosé all day, wines that don't give you a headache. <clears throat> and uh, I unfortunately have had a lot of, I've had some, not a lot, uh, of the lesser uh, quality rosés that have mm. a lot of sulfites and sugar, and they give you a headache. Yes, this doesn't. This is really good. I'm really happy to uh, report that I don't think you can get a headache with this wine. It's all natural, sustainable, vegan, low mm. sulfites, low sugar, and it, all natural part. It is vegan, mm -hmm. which is wonderful. <clears throat> so thank you for that. Are you ready? Cheers. I, I have to go get the- All right, go get a glass. glass. I have a glass. I'll, I'll but, wait for you here, I'll wait. Hold on just one moment. <laughs> Yeah, you guys, this is really good um, wine, and I love it so much. I love I've had... my glass. I'm in the pergola. So do I have the right glass, or does it matter? Like, this is a champagne I, glass. If you're is that interested, a... I will give you a little bit of a, 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 little bit of a class on, on, on the thoughts. Um, even uh, Eric Asimov from the New York Times wrote an article about this uh, some years ago. Mm -hmm. uh, I prefer a larger glass for my sparkling wines, for all my wines. Because okay. the idea is the larger bowl collects mm -hmm. the aroma. It's a larger surface area of the wine exposed to the air. Right. So more of the aromas build up and the smaller, the larger bowl and the smaller mouth collect the aromas in the glass. So when you drink, your yeah. nose goes into the glass and you get the aromas when you taste and smell as part of the taste. However, Mm -hmm. The glass like you have yes. is sexy glass because it the bubbles rise and it's taller and, and I must say it's very sexy to see the bubbles rise all the way to the top. Mm. However, for the sheer drinking pleasure, I prefer the uh, larger glass. I, I wouldn't say that this, the larger is a better glass. It depends on the occasion. Yeah. Uh, for cocktail parties, I prefer the glass that you have. Sure. For drinking at my kitchen table, I prefer this glass. I love it. Well, ching ching. Cheers. <laughs> nice. David, lovely. David, this is so good. Can we just talk about cheese really quick? Because I am a wine and cheese gal. So what cheese would you pair with this and meats? Certainly. Well, uh, just to give you a little background, Prosecco is from Northeastern Italy, from the Veneto and Friuli regions. And typically Prosecco, you, you break the Prosecco out for appetizers of cold cuts and cheeses, both yeah. hard and soft. And even my rosé is a Prosecco-like drink, mm -hmm. rounder, softer. It goes wonderful with salty cheeses uh, because it has a little sugar and um, that helps break down the, uh, the oils mm -hmm. and the salts and pair lovely in your mouth. 
uh, the Prosecco, even better. Um, any one of the Proseccos. They go yeah. very well with the saltiness, the oils. They help metabolize them and in your mouth to create a wonderful pairing. Um, also with cold cuts like salamis, prosciutti, uh, and uh, one of the, the meats that's very famous in the Vallobiadere in the Prosecco land is soppressata, or what we call soppressata. Yeah, and do you have, um, it's a real Italian uh, appetizer, it's uh, prosciutto and uh, melon, green melon, that's, do you wrap that? That's a perfect pairing for a, for a Prosecco, <laughs> because it's got the sweetness wrapped in a little salty sweet, especially with a thin, um, a thin wonderful prosciutto on top, it's, it's really amazing. Awesome. Thank you so much. If you'd like to learn more about David Noto, you can read about him in New York Lifestyle Magazine. And we thank you so much for all your education, your delicious and beautiful wine, and um, just you being you. You're, you're a kind soul. So, grazie. Grazie, Melissa. Grazie. A presto. Ciao. <laughs> Ciao. Drink responsibly. Ciao. Thank you. <laughs> Macho. Ciao. Bye. Head over to ilagatopardonyc.com to book your reservations today. This episode is sponsored by Alte Neve and LSZ Communications. Making a Difference is sponsored by Preferred Health Magazine. Please visit www.preferredhealthmagazine.com today and subscribe. <music>